Good day students, welcome to mathgodserve.com. In this clip, we're going to be taking a look at an example on the use of the right triangle altitude theorem and also the Pythagorean theorem. The question reads, in the diagram below of right triangle EFG, altitude FH intersects hypotenuse EG at H, as you can see here. Question, if FH equals 9 and EF equals 15, what is the length of segment EG? All right, so let's go ahead and populate the diagram with the measures that we have. So we know that um, FH is 9 units long. So this portion right here is 9 units. Don't forget, this is a right triangle, okay? So this is 90 degrees right here. Bam, bam. Okay. Um, and then EF is 15. EF, this side right here is 15 units long. And then we are asked to find what is this entire length right here from E to G. Okay, what is that? That's what we want to find out. So let's go over the steps that we're going to implement to solve this problem. So what we're going to do is as follows. Number one, we're going to uh, find this portion right here because if you look at e um, EFH, this right triangle, you can use the Pythagorean theorem to find this piece. Okay, so we're going to find step one find um, e EH using the Pythagorean theorem. And then, after we find this measure right here, we're going to make use of something called the right triangle altitude theorem. All right? With this altitude of the right triangle and this portion of the hypotenuse that the altitude breaks off, we can find this side right here. Bam. Okay? Step two, we're now going to find... Um, find... Uh, GH using the right triangle altitude theorem. Bam. All right. And then after that, step three is a piece of cake. It's just arithmetic, right? We just add um, EH and GH to get the needed side length. All right, so let's write that down. Add um, EH and uh, GH to get the needed length, which is um, EG. Bam, bam, bam. All righty. All right, so let's get started with part one, which is to find the length of EH. So I just drew a triangle here. So uh, let's say this is EHF. Okay, and this is 9 units long, and this is 15, so we want to find this side right here. Okay, so this, the, uh, what we're about to do now is we're going to, we need to find um, EH. So using the Pythagorean theorem, um, a Pythagorean theorem, we know what that is, the Pythagorean theorem... is um, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where c is the hypotenuse of the right triangle. a squared, or let's do it this way. Let's do um, c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. Same thing, okay? If we adapt it to this particular situation that we have right here, a, b are the legs, right? It doesn't really matter. Let's call this a and call this b. And then this side that we're looking for is C. All right. So if we apply the Pythagorean theorem to this problem, we're going to have the hypotenuse square, which is um, FE square, is equal to the sum of the square of the legs, right? So it's going to be EH square plus FH square. Bam, bam. Super. All right. So let's go ahead and do it. Plug in what we know and what we need. So we need to find F. Um, we're looking for E H. 
right? So Fe, what is Fe? Fe is 15, so we have 15 square is equal to EH square plus FH. What is FH? FH is 9 plus 9 square. All right, simplify. 15 squared is 225 is equal to EH square plus 9 square, which is 81. All right, go ahead and subtract 81 from both sides of the equation. And I'm going to switch my equation around, okay? Um, so if we do that, isolate EH square and do your switcheroo. You have EH square is equal to 144. Beautiful, it's a perfect square. So to get EH, take a square root of both sides because the inverse of square is square root. And EH is going to be 12 units long. Beautiful. All right, so let's put that into our um, shape figure right here, which is, so this is 12. So we're done with step one, which is to find EH using the Pythagorean theorem. Now what we're gonna do next is we're gonna find HG using the uh, right triangle altitude theorem. So what on earth is that? Let's take a look at what the formula is real quick. All right, so if you go to our website, matgutserve.com, and you go to geometry, you can either access this by clicking here, or you can just click here, okay? And then you can just scroll down to the theorems and postulates section. Number eight, we're gonna have the right triangle altitude theorem, click on that. So basically says as the square of the altitude of a right triangle from the right angle of the right triangle to the hypotenuse is a product of the two segments formed by the intersection of the altitude and the hypotenuse, all right? So if you have this altitude right from the 90 degree angle and it intersects the hypotenuse at this point, point B, all right, this altitude right here, if you square it, DB square or X square, is going to be equal to the product of these two segments right here, y times z. So that's basically what the right triangle altitude theorem is. All right, so if we apply the, uh, so we did step one, which is, which is to find EH. Now step two, if we want to uh, find, we're going to find, what are we looking for? Uh, GH, right? Or HG, it doesn't really matter. We want to find um HG, let's call it HG. What did I use here? I use GH. Okay. So to find GH, what we're going to do is we're going to use the um, right triangle altitude theorem. Okay. So the right triangle altitude theorem. So you're going to use the right triangle altitude theorem. All right. So in this particular situation, the right triangle altitude theorem is as follows. The alt altitude, which is FH, if you square that, FH square, the altitude from the 90 degree angle, that is going to be equal to the product of these two sides down here, which is EH times HG, bam, or GH. Okay? Now let, let's plug in what we know and what we need. We know that FH is 9, that was given to us. 9 is equal to, so 9 square is equal to EH, we just found EH, that's why we had to find it first, times GH, bam, bam, okay, all right, let's solve for GH, so simplify this, 9 squares, 81, 81 is equal to 12 times GH, to get GH isolated, we divide both sides by 12, bam, bam, like that, and then we get GH, the measure of GH is 6.75. All righty. So you notice that we have 6.75 here. Is that the answer? No. Be careful with intermediate answers. We're asked to find EG, but we just found GH. We are not done yet. Okay, GH is... A component of the final answer it is not the final answer we have one more step to go in the math step number three which is to find what we are asked to find which is GH we use the segment addition postulate for this one right so segment addition postulate just simply tells us that G no we're looking for EG as a GH we're looking for find EG all right, so the segment addition postulates tells us that 
if we want to find eg that's simply going to be the sum of the two segments that make it up right which is eh plus uh gh bam bam right so eh is what eh is 12 plus gh which is 6.75 Combine them together and you get 18.75. Ladies and gentlemen, your answer is option number three. All right, so there you go. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to help support our channel. Tons of support resources can be found at mathgotserved.com or just take a look at the links in the description below. If you have any questions about this problem or any geometry concepts in general, specify it in the comment section below and we'll be glad to assist you. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.